ever heard of Germany's Bauhaus Art School? Founder Walter Gropius said the school would be open to any person of good repute, regardless of age or sex. But in reality, while men could take their pick from disciplines like architecture, carpentry, painting and metalwork, women were mostly confined to the weaving workshop. If you're stuck with one discipline, then this is the way to do it. Gunter Stutzel became the master of the weaving department and made it one of the school's most successful faculties. After Stutzel left, Annie Alvers took over the department. When the Nazis came to power, Alvers, who was Jewish, fled to the United States. She became the first textile artist to have a solo exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Mariana Brandt's talent for industrial design couldn't be ignored. She became the first woman in the metal workshop and ended up as the deputy head. After Gertrude Arndt also ended up in the Bauhaus weaving workshop, she decided to teach herself photography on the side. She gained recognition much later on for works such as masked portraits. 